Welcome back to MMA Surge. I'm your host, Andrew The Squid Montanez. Today, I'm going to give you my predictions on the UFC 157 card featuring the first ever UFC female bout. The bout features Ronda Rousey against Liz Carmouche in a 135 pound title fight. On top of that, we have two other stellar matchups between Dan Henderson and Lyoto Machida, which is a possible number one contender for the 205 pound belt. Also, we have Uriah Faber fighting Ivan Menjavar in a 135-pound matchup. I'm going to break down these fights and let you know what each fighter has to do to win and also let you know who I think is going to win. On top of that, I'm going to predict the winners of each of the fights on the card. I'm going to start with a bout in the 135-pound weight class featuring Ivan Menjavar against Uriah Faber. This is a pretty good fight in the 135-pound division. This fight it really doesn't have too much title implications. Uriah Faber has lost to the interim champion and the current champion, and Menjavar lost to Mike Easton previously. So this fight does not have much title implication in the 135-pound weight class, but I'll let you know what each fighter has to do to get the win and possibly fight of the night bonus. We'll start with Ivan Menjavar. Ivan Menjavar is a very good Canadian fighter. He's been around the game forever. He's fought 135, 145, 155, he even fought George St. Pierre at 170. So he's a seasoned veteran. I think for him to win, he has to keep the fight standing. He has to work his strikes. Uriah Faber's got really good takedowns and very good ground and pound. So he's got to keep the fight standing. It's not that he doesn't have bad jujitsu. His, his jujitsu is through the roof, but Uriah Faber is not a very tappable guy. He's not a guy that you're going to tap easily. So I say for him to win the fight, he's got to catch Uriah with some big strikes, keep the fight standing, and just stay off of his back. For Uriah Faber to win the fight, he's got to get takedowns, stay out of some bad situation when it comes to striking, and just work his ground and pound. Get the takedowns, pass the guard, stay away from any leg locks and arm bars, and he'll find himself a victory. I think this fight's going to be really exciting, but I'm going to pick Uriah Faber by unanimous decision. I think he's going to go back to his wrestling, land some takedowns. That's been Ivan Menjavar's kind of Achilles heel. So I think if uh, Uriah Faber lands some takedowns, does some good strikes. I think he's going to win himself a decision and start working himself back towards the title, but he's in a very weird place because he lost to the champion and the interim champion, so he's just pretty much fighting just to be a fighter, kind of not being a champion. He's in a very tough spot. All right, the next fight we're going to break down is a huge fight in the 205-pound division between 42-year-old Dan Henderson riding a four-fight win streak against Lyoto Machida, who has a one-fight win streak, but He's fought very good opponents. This is a really good matchup. This is probably the best striking matchup we'll see in the light heavyweight division for a little while. Kind of contrasting styles. Dan Henderson throws huge bombs, while Lyoto Machida keeps a very karate stance and is very awkward. Throws a lot of kicks and just short little strikes. So should be a really good matchup. For Lyoto Machida to win this fight, he has to keep the fight standing, but he has to stay away from big right hands and really big hooks. Uh, Dan Henderson can put you out with both hands. So he's got to choose his angles, cut his angles, stay away from getting into a lot of clinch work because Dan Henderson throws a lot of good dirty boxing. So he could take you out with one punch for Dan Henderson to win this fight. I think he's, he's just got to do what he does, fight with pressure and try to land those big shots. You know, it's kind of a coin flip with Dan Henderson. If he could land the shot or not, if he could land it, he'll put you out. He's just got to stay away from Lyoto Machida's kicks, his short little punches. I think he can coast himself to a decision, but I predict Dan Henderson by knockout. I know Lyoto Machida's talking a lot about if, if Lyoto wins this fight, he should fight for a title. I don't think that's true. Lyoto Machida has won one, lost one, won one, lost two. So I don't think Machida deserves a title shot if he wins this fight. There's guys like Johnny Hendricks that are undefeated in the UFC and have not got a title fight. So there's other guys ahead of him. If Dan Henderson wins, he'll get the title fight because he had it scheduled. So I'm picking Dan Henderson by second round knockout with a big H-bomb. All right, let's go to the main event, the first ever UFC female bout, as well as the first ever UFC female championship bout, all happening at one time. So we have Liz Carmouche fighting Ronda Rousey in the 135 pound division. Ronda Rousey, 6-0 as a pro, 3-0 as an amateur, nine first round arm bars. So, you know, no hiding what she's probably gonna go for. She's probably gonna go for a takedown and get an arm bar. Liz Carmouche, seven and two, has a two fight win streak. I don't think Liz can hang with Ronda. She's worrying so much about the arm bar when Ronda has really good hands and really good other jujitsu, not just arm bar. I think we could see Ronda Rousey 
do a triangle, do just a rear naked choke. I think her wrestling is good enough to take the back of Carmouche. I think for Carmouche to win, which is a very small possibility, she's got to keep the fight standing. I think she has to come out hard. She has to come out and try to knock out Ronda Rousey in the first 30 seconds. I think her game plan is not try to win a decision because you're not going to win a decision over Ronda. The longer you fight Ronda, the longer chance you're going to get arm barred. So you have to come out and try to crack Ronda in the face, knock her out, put her away. I think that's the only way Liz Carmouche can win. Ronda Rousey, I think she has a million ways she can win this fight. First of all, she could take her down arm bar. She could take her down ground and pound her. She could take her down submit her. Her boxing's really good too. I, I don't think Liz can hang with her in the boxing too. So I think this is a little bit of a mismatch. The UFC is putting a lot of faith in Ronda Rousey to piggyback the female division to a higher status. And I think, I think this is going to do it. I think Ronda Rousey is going to win first round armbar. I think it's going to happen very fast. And we're going to see Ronda Rousey go 7-0 with all armbars. All right, so those are my picks for three of the main card fights at UFC 157. I'm going to try to go 11 for 11 this card. So I'm going to pick the rest of the fighters and just let you know who I think is going to win. And maybe I'll go 11 for 11. So. First, we're going to go Manley, Robertson, Stout, Bermudez, Chiesa, Johnson, Koscheck, and Nier. That's my 11 for 11 picks. If you guys have your own picks, let me know. They might be different. See if, see if you guys can go 11 for 11. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm The Squid, and I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.